Now we're actually going to do an example that will show the use of the Jacobian factor in some made-up coordinate system. For example, suppose you have a shape that's pretty hard to integrate in one coordinate system, so you want to transform it into a more friendly shape that's easier to integrate. Sometimes doing a transformation makes problems easier than they are in one coordinate system uh, as compared to another one. So let's go ahead and look at an, look at an example. Um, I'll go ahead and write it out. So and we'll say that let's have the double integral over some region uh, x times y by dA. So some area integral. We want to sketch this given region R. And then we want to put it in the UV. So I'm kind of recycling these axes that I found on the internet. Okay. So let's say that uh, R has some bounds on it. Let's say R is restricted by zero it is less than X and x is less than 2. So we go over here to the x-axis and we'll put, we'll put the bounds in black. So we'll say that x isn't bigger than 4, so we'll put this up here as like a boundary. And x isn't smaller than 0. X is also less than Y, and Y is less than X plus 4. So we have uh, Y equals X. So when X is 0, 0, I mean, sorry, when X is 0, Y is 0. When X is 2, Y is 2. And it looks like I already made a mistake because it's, I put a, a boundary on the 4 when there's actually a boundary on the 2. So I'll go ahead and fix that. So the boundary is actually at the 2. And this was an error because we said x is greater than 0 but less than 2. So... We're bounded by y is equal to x, so this is 2, 2, this is 0, 0, when x is 0, okay, so we have this line y equals x from here, right? So when y is 0, I mean, sorry, we should be talking about x, and then it, what y equals afterwards is the output, so when x is 0, y is 0, we have this point here. When x is 2, y is 2, so that's just a straight line, like this. That's going to be one of our bounds. And we also have this equation up here. It looks like when x is 0, y is 4. And when x is 2, y is 6. So like up here, and just for even more clarity, this line up here is the line y equals x plus 4, and this line is the line y is equal to x. All right, so in order to continue with this problem, I have to tell you what the transformations are. So let's let x equal to 2u. 
and let y equal 4v plus 2u. So this is how we go from here to here and from here to here like we've been doing in the past couple videos. Let's go ahead and just make a table so we can see what these translations are going to be. We can look at how the vertices are going to change. So if we have x and y here and we have u and v here we can use this information to make a table. So when x is 0, the u is 0, and when y is 0, these are 0. Over here, y is 4. So translate that over. When y is 4, then we divide by 4 and v becomes 1. Okay, so that becomes 0 and 1. When we have 2, 2 over here. Put in uh, 2 for x. x, I mean sorry, u is a 1, and v is a 0, because we need uh, u to be 1 so that x is 2, right? And similarly, we have 2 and 6 from this and we want to translate it using these same formulas and when we do we can see it's going to be one and one so this is pretty convenient you might be able to see why these functions were chosen because instead of having a sheared parallelogram now we're going to have a nice box actually a square, I should say. Would you rather integrate this, or would you rather integrate this? So let's go ahead and solve for uh, u and v explicitly. So from this we would say that u is equal to x over 2, right? And if we put this inside here, we could see that y minus x over 4 is equal to v. Okay, so with the previous information we just solved, we can actually determine the Jacobian and the function of u and v. Recall, oh, whoops, recall that we said the double integral of some region r of x, y, dA, where r was bounded by 0 is less than x is less than 2, x is less than y, which is less than x plus 4, and we said that x was equal to 2u and y was equal to 4v plus 2u. We're definitely going to need our Jacobian matrix in order to figure out what this is going to be. So recall we came up with a new symbol for it. The partials with respect to these, which basically means perform a Jacobian matrix, so we'll go ahead and do that, because it's just two-dimensional, it should go pretty quick, just dy by du, and then dy by dv, 
And just to further elaborate, we're going to be doing purples, the product of the purples, minus the product of the blues. So if we look at x and we take the derivative with respect to u, that's going to give us a 2. When we look at x and we wonder about v, it's going to give us nothing. So don't waste your time with that. When we look at y and we do the derivative with respect to u, we get a 2. Similarly here, we get a 4. So let's see the product of the purples minus the product of the blues. So 8 minus 0, right? So we're going to get 8. Recall we said this is equal to, uh, I guess I'll rewrite it here just for consistency. If this is in fact a Jacobian transformation, then it's going to be equal to this so over the surface, f of g, uh, h, where these are both of u and v, times the Jacobian matrix, uh, by dA. Luckily, we know that this is 8, we know that this is du dv. Now this means multiply x and y because this is x times y. So in fact this whole thing is going to give us the integral of 2u times 4v plus 2u multiplied by 8 du dv and uh, if you recall I don't have the picture anymore but the point of this exercise was to turn the parallelogram into a square for easy integration and you recall it became a unit square so 0 1 0 to 1 yeah we can go ahead and just combine terms like I would multiply this here okay so we'll go ahead and perform this integral on a fresh page we have the integral of from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, uh, 2u times 4v plus 2u multiplied by 8 dv by du. Okay, so let's factor this inside here. And we'll get 8 u v plus 4 u squared. All of this is multiplied by 8 dv by du. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this double integral 8 times 8 uv dv by du plus 8 times 4 the integral of u squared dv by du. So we got 64 times the integral of u is u squared over 2. So u squared over 2 
times V dV plus 32 times uh, V times U to the 3 over 3 and the integral of this is v squared over 2 so we get u squared over 2 v squared over 2 times 64 plus 32 v u to the 3 over 3 where all the u's and v's are 1's so we get 64 over 4 plus 32 over 3 and so now we need to make common denominators so 3 times 64 over 12 plus 4 times 32 over 12 becomes 3 times 64 times 4 times 32 plus over 12 so 4 times 32 is uh, 264 so we got 128 here and 128 plus 64 128 64 12 yeah I guess that makes sense 192 so 192 plus 128 is uh, 0, 1, 2, 1, 320, and 320 divided by 12. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce both of these until one of them is prime. So we'll divide both by 4. And I'm going to go ahead and leave my answer as this from this. And what this lets us know is this is the uh, area in within that square. So v u this is 1 1 0 0 it's a unit square and we get this amount of area